Hello everyone and welcome back to another Elden Ring guide video. In this one I'm showing you how to complete one of two series of quest lines in Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC. These are super important to do, both quests, because they allow you to summon two NPCs for the final boss, which will kill you in one hit if you're not careful. Also you get some of the DLC's best armor sets and weapons for doing this, but Getting the two NPCs for the final boss is pretty much something that you need to do, especially if you're in New Game Plus, as he's extremely tough. Of course, the quest is missable, and it ties into the other quest, St. Trina and Theolier's quest, but I made a separate video for that, and I will tell you in this video when that quest line should be done, because there is a point of no return for both quests. Let's begin. Our first step is to talk to Freya at the Three Path Cross Site of Grace, and you have to simply exhaust all of her dialogue. This is needed to spawn her in the Storehouse Seventh Floor Site of Grace later in the game, and you must complete Castle Ennis in order to reach this area. Next, speak with Sir Anback at the Main Gate Cross Site of Grace outside of the Belarut Tower Settlement. Next we're going to go through Castle Ennis and head to the Shadow Keep, and we're going to go to the Storehouse First Floor Site of Grace. If you head forward from here and take a left, you can find Sir Anback in a small library. Talk with him and keep in mind where he is. We're going to make our way through this place and to the fourth floor site of grace. We're going to run up these stairs here and past the enemies, the annoying fire red mage, and we will drop down the stairs to find the secret right scroll on a small table, and we're going to need this for later. Next, continue on to find Freya at the Storehouse 7th Floor site of Grace, which is back the way you came, and then keep going up the stairs. Exhaust all of the dialogue with her, and she will say I should have asked Anback to impart his knowledge when I had the chance. From here, travel back down to the first floor and speak with Anback, and give him the secret right scroll, and you can also tell him of Freya's decision, Simply just exhaust all the dialogue options with him and he will give you a letter to Freya. Return to Freya and give her the letter and talk with her again and she will give you the Golden Lion Shield and make sure to exhaust all of her dialogue options before moving on. Now you have to return to Anback and speak with him if he's there. If he's already gone then don't worry, that is what you want to happen. Keep speaking with him and Freya until they disappear. Like I said, if they've already gone then that's a good thing and you're ready to move on to the next part. Next we need to talk with Needle Knight Leda at the High Road Cross site of Grace. Exhaust all of her dialogue. She will also ask you here about choosing someone. I'm not 100% sure if this was for the quest, but I chose Horn Scent either way. And she says she needs some time to think. I don't know if this is part of the quest, I don't think it is, but just make sure to exhaust all of her dialogue either way. The next step is to defeat Mesmer, who is at the top of the Shadow Keep. He's extremely tough, and you need to kill him in order to get an item, which will continue on the main story. So defeat him, and then you can continue on. From the storehouse first floor, go left and take the elevator to the ruins, and you must travel through them all the way to reach the final boss called Romina, Saint of the Bud Boss. Defeat this tough boss and you can continue on. Alright, you are now ready for the point of no return in this quest. If you haven't already done so, check out my other video to start the full St. Trina and Theolier's quest line. You need to do these before you go into the next section or else you will miss them. But once you've done that, you can return to this video. After defeating Romina, head up the stairs and burn the tree. 
This will make most of the NPCs in the world disappear, which is why you need to complete the other side quest before burning the tree. After the cutscene, you will find yourself in Anir Elam, the final location of the DLC. You must make your way through all the way to the very top, fighting all the tough enemies along the way. And at the final grace point, you will find Needle Knight Leda and her allies. If you've done this right, you will get both orange summoning symbols to help you out in the fight. This is how you know you've done both of the side quests correctly. Defeat Leda and you're pretty much done the quest. After defeating her, you will get the full set of Freya's armor, Leda's armor, and Leda's sword, Freya's sword and the flax weapon, Dane's footwork, which is another weapon, which is hand-to-hand, -hand, and you'll also get the full set of braided armor, so a whole bunch of stuff after defeating Knight Leda. Last but not least, if you head up the stairs, from here is the final boss of the whole DLC. I won't spoil who it is, but pretty much they killed me as soon as I entered, so I haven't quite finished them yet, but outside the door you can summon Sir Ansbach and Theo Lear if you've done the quest lines correctly, and you definitely need them to help you in battle as he is extremely tough. After you defeat him, both Ansbach and Theo Lear's full armor sets will drop and their weapons as well, and that will conclude the quest line. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Like and subscribe for more Elden Ring DLC guides, and make sure to check out the other questline video I uploaded as well, and I will see you in the next one.